Okay, uh, I will share to fast. Uh, I'm Max, and my ID is Sakana, and I am very pleased to have a talk here. I introduced the open source community and the open source uh, activi activity in Taiwan. So first of all, I must say uh, I have practiced this many times. It must uh, pronounce uh, Kalimela, right? No. Here? Ah, it is the good afternoon in Greece, is that? Yeah. Okay, uh, and I'm Max, and I am come from Taiwan, and I'm open source member, and uh, I'm open source the rod, and I'm also a Grand Financial member and the Grand Asia Commit. Yeah. So first, I uh, I must thank uh, open source travel support program sent me here. You, you can you can see that here is here's Taiwan, and here is the Sunlinky. I, I fly to here for 35 hours, <laughs> and so <laughs> 35 hours. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and thousands of mine here. So I want to talk about the open source community in Taiwan. And we have a Facebook group, and we have a plan, open source. Uh, I think that is very amazing. We have a, a plan for open source because the plan for open source that is the only one you can write down in, in, with your local language, and that make me promote open source in Taiwan very smoothly. That is one. So uh, we have co work with the uh, Taiwan community. Uh, teams, you know uh, the community is very uh, very active in Taiwan. If you uh, play many community, maybe you will lose your girlfriend or wife or anything. Or why? Because the Monday to Sunday, every day we have uh, different community activities. <laughs> Monday to Sunday. Okay, so we are covering so so for example, Coast Cup uh, Star Area and. The most point is we also cooperate with the government unit to promote open source in Taiwan. Yeah. So uh, that's our member of uh, open source community Taiwan, some of them. Okay. So uh, you can see that maybe there are giggles there. Yeah? <clears throat> okay. So first of all, last year we are very honored to to invite the youth to uh, Taiwan. We have Coscop and open source and KD uh, with our program. Yeah. Uh, they are. Mm, thousands plus people attending here, so you can you can see the pictures, and there are there are many people attend here, and they are know they try to know about the open source here, and that's our that's our program. Okay, so we we invite uh, youth and uh, some source guys to Taiwan to have a, a give a talk. Okay, so if you want to see more, uh, you can use a Flickr, you can search the open source or cost cup, you will get lots of them. Okay. Okay, so another one is uh, in Taiwan there's a project uh, with the education ministry. Uh, it calls the EasyGo, and we cooperate with them. Uh, EasyGo is very uh, uh, very special. Why? Because uh, it's focused on uh, education application, but not in the operation system. So first of all, they use a Fedora, and then they use Ubuntu, and we try. In Taiwan, we try let EasyGo use the open source. So what is that? And you can see all of this guy is the junior high school or uh, elementary school in Taiwan. So all the members are instructors and teachers in Taiwan. Yeah. So they focus. The focus with the yeah. We put some classification here uh, for the education, for the math, for the another another good education. We merge it to. The system, so you can you can see here there are many many kind of the education application. So this is the main purpose. So that's the that's the best good point. We we can give this CD uh, to the child in the middle school and the junior high school, uh, senior high school and the university. Okay, it's all when you click the menu, you can see the, all the education applications. Yes. Okay, let's move on. And another one is uh, OSS, Open Source Software Foundry. Uh, it's, it's another uh, government open source project. Uh, he gives us the platform and uh, the news, and uh, the most important, they give us a very, very good hosting and venue here. So you can see that. See that what? The Cost Cafe 1000 plus attended last year, but our venue is free. And uh, it's, it's some kind of joke. You know, uh, we have conference every month. 
actually, we have we in Taiwan the, the community member they were they were say, oh, oh, conference, oh, conference because from January to December, uh, we have a conference every every month. Uh, it's talk about uh, two hundred or three three hundred people. Per month. So you can see that OSDC, RubyCom, they, uh, JavaScript, uh, okay, Python, Taiwan, CrossCup, PHPCom, How to Win Taiwan, State Map Taiwan. There are so many conferences in Taiwan. So every month we have a very big conference in Taiwan. So we thank the OSSF, Open Software Foundry, to provide the good menu here. And campus. So uh, we have some. Uh, workshop in school, and that is a good news. We have a regular Linux course in university. That means they, they must study the Linux. But uh, it's a long story, but why we had success this year? Because, because I translate the Susan Enterprise Linux book into the traditional Chinese. In Taiwan, it's very important. You want to promote something, you must have uh, books. Yeah, so we have a regular uh, Linux course, and after they join the Linux course, they will to get some Linux certification. They will to get some uh, NC or a Novel Certificate Linux Administrator. Yeah, f because for HR people, uh, they must get some purpose. Yeah. So we start to consider when we promote. Uh, yeah, before we do that, we will, we will like maybe we will get a DVD CD. So okay, go ahead. Okay, to install, to to format, to destroy your Windows PC. But for Asian people, it's very difficult. So we try to another point. So we uh, integrate with the NH NCHC. Uh, there's an open source project called the Easyla. So what is Easyla means? It's a virtual classroom. So it, uh, in the basement, there is a hypervisor use a KVN. In the middle well, they use the uh, open Nebra. Yeah, I, I, I know now the open source use the open stack, but it's very similar, okay? And in front of them, uh, if the student's browser, they support the HTML5, okay? They can easily, very easy to uh, create their VM, okay? Uh, so for the system administrator, we, we create this uh, project to do that. So they can, they can use the cluster and build their private cloud. Just one click install and build the system. For the users, if their browser uh, support and can do the HTML5, for example, Google Chrome, for example, Firefox, they can access the VM. They can use the RDP, they can access the SSH. They can use the VNC or, uh, or Red Hat Spice, okay? Okay, uh, let's do some, some demo. So why we do that with the Chinese card system? Okay, so, oh, yeah. I switched that to English because in the settings, we have uh, multiple language here. And yesterday, I tried to use uh, Greece, but it's very difficult to me. <laughs> so I showed uh, English, okay? So for a, st for a student, we got a point, and this, this year we have a very big success in Taiwan. Why? Because of Microsoft increased their license free to the school, and school said, no, we, we don't need, we don't need, we don't want to pay more. So last year, uh, okay, the new Taipei City uh, government, they decided to deploy the Linux PC for the 10,000 PCs to each school. Okay, so... If you are the instructor in the school, okay, how can we use, how can we let the student use the Linux? Yeah, it's quite simple. You just ask the student to open the browser and you can ask them to create and input the name and choose what operation system do you want they use it. You can choose the, of course, yeah, we put the open source on it. So when the student create the open source VM virtual machine. Guess what? Each VM for the normal small site to create VM, just one or two minutes, you can create a VM and you can use it. So that's very convenient to, to the student. So I can type it. For example, I type it test. So I can open source. You can select your code and give them the password. Okay. And for instructor, they can select, you can create, you can create one, 10, 50, 
VM at the same time. Okay, so when I push the crate, okay, so you will, you will see there is a VM here and they are start to boot. Okay, so for students, they can create their VM and they can use the VNC. And that is the second story because yesterday I asked for the broadcasting because uh, before we used in the Taiwan, we used ITELC, but ITELC have a, the very heavy uh, network bands for broadcasting. So we, we do a very, very uh, much lab. So what can we do? We can ask the instructor and the, and the student to log in at the same account. So they open the browser with the one window and the instructor to operate the window and it can be the same purpose to the broadcasting. And the, and the other one is, you know, the student behavior, they are changed. So they start to use the enjoy tablet. So the same, they can use the enjoy or tablet to operating the uh, VMs. And uh, for, the other, for the other hand, uh, we are start to write the enjoy applications for this one. So you can set up easily, you can, you can do, some do, do some operation here to your virtual machines, yeah, and that is easy. And we can go back to, hey, please attention, my VN is connecting to Taiwan, <laughs> not a local site, not, not in my computer system. So for the purpose, uh, and you can see here our testing, open source, I think that is, that is in progress. So yeah, that is start and it's ready, right? So. For another purpose, so students in the school, when they get in class, the instructor, yeah, just want, just simple to say, okay, open your browser, okay, start your open source, and they don't need to worry about they are they are crash, they are do something bad with the operating system because they are any change they can set them and delete and create a new one, and students go back to home, they just very do very simple. The same, open their PC, open their Enjoy, and open the browser, and connect them back to the school. Okay. So, yeah, that's our the other one. Yeah. Okay. So that's a, that's a, another real case. Uh, we we cooperate in a, in a very big uh, university in Taiwan, and they got a one thousand VN environment for students and instructor. Uh, they have a se they have a, they have a 70 node for this service. Guess what? We create 100. Uh, sorry, 1,000 VN. Yeah, for create each one VN, we just use the 1.8 second for one VN. Yeah. So that's our successful uh, successful story in Taiwan. Okay. But yeah, this is my yeah, that's nice because I, I know I'm, I don't have much time. But I still need more, more work. Okay, I still, I think maybe we should cooperation more. So we, maybe we make, uh, we, I think like it makes sense. We must have lunch party with different area, not just in Taiwan. Maybe you can have lunch party, Taiwan, Beijing, okay, or Europe at the same time. But I think maybe that's a good idea if we have if we have an open source Asia because they are Beijing team, Taiwan team, Indian, Japan, and Singapore users group in Asia, and maybe I think that we can co-work with Ground Asia or KD team, yeah, let's see, or in the future. But uh, when I come here, I have another purpose for that that's because uh, in the uh, elementary school and the junior high school they have start to sound. Uh, Computer science lab and the plan in the in the campus. So uh, I saw that is a, a very good project that you call the Resume Pi. Yeah, I know some guy in Amti they are they are developed with the Resume Pi. Yeah, I think if if we can get Resume Pi with open source, we can get to the campus very deeply. And maybe Google Summer Call and I wish for education, uh, we can involve to another plan if we can combine it. Uh, in uh, education. Uh, this plan is called a PHET. Uh, I don't know you, you hear or not hear that. It's the project for, for Colorado University. So, so this project, uh, they can have a different language. So you can use a, use a one language and you can select by, oh, sorry. You can select by the label and the different subject here. You can see here. 
or you can you can be a physical biology uh, us. Us, uh, science and math, and you can do the elementary school, junior high school, and senior high school, and you can teach the student very easy like that. <laughs> yeah. And this project, you can just do it to the website, and you can pack it into the Linux. So you can, yeah, you can, you can fire the, the car, you can fire a human. But the student will ask, why they yeah, wrong the sand? Yeah, because we must consider more. So if you consider more, you will, you, will, you will know what? Yeah, and car. Like that. I think, I think for education, I think not just, yeah, not just the, the Linux distribution. I think if we, if we want to change the, the student the user's behavior, we must start from the education for the campus. So, so I'm, I'm very, uh, yeah, I'm very back to relax. Yeah, to, we must to cover it more. We, we must start with the, the school, and we must change them. And I also tell the, the easy go instructor, they must write, they must write more, more what? More paper, paper with open source. And we must do more workshop with the open, open source and the open source, and we can get more users and feedback. You know, some users' behavior just, uh, they have a habit. So if, they, if you have a book, if you have a course, when next time they, they contact to the nearest, they will choose open source, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, I know, I know I'm very toys. So actually, yes, this is my, this line. Thank you, everybody. You. Any question here? No, because Taiwan is too far. <laughs> yeah, but, but I, I'm very happy to stand here. Yeah, because uh, I think we, we must have to get more and more cooperation. And next time, we, next year, we, we invite you. I, I really want I really want to invite you to the Asia to the Taiwan to say a thousand people coming to the Mario in thirty minutes is terrible. It's it like a disease, you know. <laughs> uh, but they are all, they are all uh, open source guy. They love the Linux. They love open source. They coming to together, and we we want to do more in Asia in Europe. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>